Welcome to Wisconsin Shoe Guy. Here we do unboxing videos, we discuss general shoe knowledge, we do worth the price videos as shoe reviews, and we will do shoe battles uh, comparing shoe to shoe so that you can understand the differences. I also speak to experts in the field. Now when you order a shoe from this outfit, they give you the option of different colors that you can choose, and this is some of the options. Hey everybody, welcome. Today we're gonna to do an unboxing video for a pair of very cool patina shoes that I received uh, in the mail today. Uh, this is from Alton Bottier uh, out of Paris. And they actually, when you order the shoes, you get to order the patina that you'd like them in right on the order form online. So kind of a cool option. They included some uh, Pat Deluxe, which is very nice. So let's take a look at what we have here. I ordered these with trees. Trees are an option. But as you can see, they actually came with trees. Right, right in the box. Which is very cool. So let's take a look at this. Now I view this as an Adelaide because it has the U through it, but this is actually on top, not on inside. So it's a little bit different. In French, they call this a plast iron. Which I have no idea how to say that in French, so uh, I'm probably wrong. Um, if you look here, this has kind of a flap over the side here, a little stitch there, very different kind of leather. So this is a hole cut that has the facing kind of layered on top. You can see that there's this asymmetric um, uh, um, eyelets, so they don't go in a line. So whether you do them the crisscross method the way they have here, or if you do them in a bar lacing, that is just how they're gonna look. Now, how about them apples? Now, I wanted this um, cognac um, uh, patina, and they, I think this is, um, just look at how the color variation is here. I mean, this is really, really quite nice. They did a really nice job with it. And it'll never look <laughs> as good as it does today. It's just kind of the way it is. Now, if you take a look at the soles, this is a closed channel sole. And what do I mean by that? This is not, this is something where they open the channel, like they do on almost all Goodyear welted shoes, and then they actually hammered the channel shut. Okay, so this is unlike what you see on a lot of blind stitched, this is actually a different methodology entirely. So very cool. Uh, looks like that's done at 180 degrees. The waist is pretty narrow, so I don't know how they do it there. Um, but you can see that they do carve the waist down a little bit, but not profoundly. It's also a really high degree of finishing on the top of that weld. But you also, for being a Goodyear welted shoe, I don't see the stitching. I think it's pretty deep in there. So I don't see it. I mean, I see the fudging, but I can't see the stitching. So I may take some time and look at this a little bit later, but I don't think that I'm missing it. I think this is just the way these particular shoes are. Now, Alton, from a price standpoint, can be in tier one and tier two. Um, and these, because they're the Goodyear welted variety, are firmly in the tier two strata, but it is a tier one brand, uh, which is important to note as well. So again, very nice, very nice shoes. They do have hand welted options available as well, including some very attractive 
uh, Norvegese welts. Uh, but this is just a Goodyear welted variety. So thanks for watching. This is Wisconsin Shoe Guy. Please let me know your thoughts on these very cool, very different Adelaide-ish shoes. So I wanted to uh, just share some pictures that I took of these as well, just some stills. I uh, really like these shoes. They, uh, they have a great look to them. And as you saw from the first slide, Alton actually does call them Adelaides. So I guess I'm pretty safe in my assumption there.